This has very quickly become one of my new favorite German cities. This is so cool. This is a really popular tourist destination here in Germany. We loved it and we know we will be back here many times. Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. I am Donnie and this is my wife Aubrey. We are two Americans currently living in Germany and sharing all of our experiences living here and all of our travels on our channel. So we are on our way home from our road trip to Berchtesgaden and we are stopping into Rothenburg. How do you say the full name? It's Old a long name. Der Tobe. Rothenburg of der Tobe. Um, this is a really popular tourist destination here in Germany. So we are really excited to check it out. We've heard great things about this spot. So let's go see it. Our first stop is the old city wall that goes completely around the city. And let's see. <laughs> That's all I got. So far, the wall is open to walk all the way around, and we love these walled cities where the walls are like just as they used to be and are reconstructed and re renovated. And so you can walk around the entire city and look down below and just see all of the amazing architecture. Um, there are a lot of really big, awesome towers all the way around the wall too, but all of them are closed so far, so we can't actually go up inside the towers. I don't know if those are, if those are normally open and they're just not open right now. Um, but, oh, we're going into one of the towers right now actually. And you can't go up. But that's something to check on, see if the towers are normally open, but it's really, really cool so far. We did just come across, however, this kind of giant tower part, or almost like castle-y armory part, where there's, where there's cannons and stuff sticking out, so you can kind of see what it looked like whenever they were defending the city. But this is so cool that you can go inside of here and it's just like, it was like almost medieval times or something. Um, just walking through here and seeing the cannons and being inside of this like fully renovated building here. So we're walking now kind of like what looks like was the moat or something and you can see over our shoulders what we were just inside where the cannons were. And what's really impressive to me about all of this is that a lot of places that we go to has like city walls but the city walls a lot of times don't have a whole lot left standing. We've been to a couple places where you can walk all the way around like Dubrovnik, Croatia a little bit. Um, but this is really impressive that so much of it is here and you can still walk around and see. But especially like these kind of parts where it's just like massive and they have the uh, cannons and everything inside of it. So this right here is of course like the, kind of the iconic picture spot of Rothenburg. And I thought I was gonna get a sweet shot with the carriage and the horses going by, and then of course a minivan pulls in behind it and kind of ruins the shot. But this is the spot that you always see of all the pictures. If you Google Rothenburg, the tower, and then like the half timber frame house that's yellow, it's just so beautiful. And a lot of the buildings like that here are incredible, just like this. This has very quickly become one of my new favorite German cities. It is beautiful, so picturesque, so many half timber buildings, gold on all the signs, um, and honestly, it's a lot more crowded than we were expecting. There are people everywhere, but we can't even imagine what it would be like in full tourist season when the borders are open and people can come from different countries here. I bet it gets really packed, but right now it's crowded, but not too crowded. So it's pretty much just, well, it is just German tourists. Um, and us. And us. <laughs> <laughs> so it is pretty much just German tourists and us, but it's really fun to see the energy back in the city. So walking all around the city here, we've seen a ton of Christmas stores all over the place, which has been really cool seeing all of those because we've heard that the Christmas market here is really, really neat to see. And so you can see that all year round, they have like the Christmassy feel and all the Christmas shops. And then we've also heard one of the inventions of Rothenburg is the Schneeball, which we actually have tried before in a Christmas market in Nuremberg. And a schneeball basically is like fried dough into what looks like a snowball, hence the name schneeball, which is snowball. And they have all kinds of different ones. And 
the one that we had before, I think was like covered with powdered sugar and we really weren't too impressed with it. It tasted kind of like a cracker in the US with some powdered sugar on it. It's not super sweet, but we did just sit on the steps in the town square here and try another one, which was chocolate covered with almonds. And I have to say, this one was quite a bit better. It was still not super sweet. It tasted kind of like the mini chocolate donuts that we have in the US. Um, but those are kind of like some things that are neat to see here. It's like the Christmas vibes and also the schnee balls, which are all over the place here. So to get into this church, you do have to pay, which maybe we're just kind of cheap, but we're used to churches you usually don't have to pay to go in just to see them. So we're not gonna go in. But another interesting thing that's different about this one is there's a tunnel that goes through the church right here in the road. One thing that's really amazing about these uh, types of cities are like the towers and stuff. We're seeing plaques saying they were originally built in like, the 1300s, or there's a church that we saw earlier that was built in the 1400s, but the whole place just so medieval. And even if these aren't, of course, the originals, these are all renovated or rebuilt, it's still so neat feeling that history whenever you're walking through these and seeing it for yourself. I love these places that actually do rebuild or renovate them. So you can actually see like what they look like in the periods. Really cool scene. That concludes our quick little trip into Rothenburg and we loved it. And we know we will be back here many times because we don't live very far from here. So we are going to come discover it in all seasons. We'll be back. Yeah, like Aubrey was saying earlier too, like this is definitely a place that is super touristy. So Aubrey did mention that this place was very touristy, but unfortunately when we filmed that part, we didn't realize that the audio wasn't working. So in this clip that we ended up cutting, basically she was saying, we love this place, but it's very touristy. But for a reason, because it is really, really amazing. So definitely going to be on our list of places that we recommend to people and also we will definitely come check out again we need to read up on a lot more of the history and uh, come experience that yeah. but it's cool seeing all the touristy stuff open again and also just seeing cities alive that's yeah. really cool it gives me hope for us traveling this summer throughout europe i think things are getting a little more back to normal yeah so thanks so much for watching this video guys if you liked it please hit the like button also subscribe we would love to continue showing you germany and our experiences here and just things that you can do to travel around here so we would love to see you in our next video. Cheers. One thing that's really amazing, one thing that's really amazing about these. Just peeking around the corner. Okay, you ready? And action. Okay. You want to start it? Or do you want me to start it? Um, I can start. Okay. And action.